Hello, welcome. My today's talk is on mesial temporal sclerosis. Mesial temporal sclerosis is a term used to describe scarring in the deep part of the temporal lobe of the brain. This is the most common cause of structural epilepsy and the focal seizures in the temporal lobe. Mesial temporal sclerosis affects the hippocampus, which is a brain region that is involved in the memory formation and the retriever, and the amygdala, which is involved in the emotional processing. Mesial temporal sclerosis symptoms include strange sensations such as auras, euphoria, deja vu, jamais vu, or fear, changes in behavior and emotion, muscle spasms, temporal lobe epilepsy, and seizure disorders. When we see the types of seizures that occurs in MTS, mesial temporal sclerosis is associated with focal seizures mainly. When the seizure evolves into a focal seizure with loss of awareness, motor features can present with abnormal twisting motions of the hand or with autonomic movement like hand picking or fumbling or mouse chewing and lip smacking. Some seizures can evolve to generalized tonic clonic seizure. Because the seizures can involve language in the memory areas, and the seizures are often associated with inability to recall having had a seizure. When we see the causes of MTS, in many cases, MTS seems to be caused by an event or condition that causes stress or damage to the brain such as traumatic brain injury, brain infection, stroke, brain tumor, oxygen deprivation or asphyxia and seizure activities. Sometimes the cause of this problem may not be identified. The diagnosis of MTS includes detailed strain the physical examination along with imaging, history of prolonged seizure with fever in early life can be a risk factor for development of MTS. MRI shows characteristic abnormal signal in the deep structure of the temporal lobe is scarring. EEG shows epileptiform discharges and excess electrical activity seen with epilepsy in the region where the temporal lobe is located. When we came to treatment, the first line of treatment is anti-seizure medication such as lamotrigine, valporate, and carbamazepine. About 60% of patients with this problem respond to anti-epileptic drug and 40% have drug resistance epilepsy. If one treatment fails or if one medication fails, we make it two medications. If two medications have not worked, it is recommended that the patient referred for possible surgical evaluation. If MTS is only found on one side of the brain, then surgical resection is probably the best option in controlling the seizure. If it involves both sides of the brain, then surgical resection is often not possible as one cannot remove both temporal lobes due to memory and other functional concerns. So in such cases, responsive neurostimulation, vagus nerve stimulation and the brain stimulation device can decrease the seizure. This is all about my discussion. Thank you for watching.